Alright, welcome back to another episode on this Let's Play on Minecraft Infinite Development. So, we were away before building all this stuff here, but it turns I feel like we're gonna probably need to have a bit of a material upgrade eventually. We're gonna have to build these a bit higher. This is going to be our furnace place anyway, so hopefully the building is a bit enjoyable as it can be a bit jarringly boring. We're simply going to mine this pot and then we're going to put the furnaces down here. I want to have a bit of a design going, but I want to have this world until like, you know, the old save data kind of like changes as you go along each version. I'm hoping that we can somehow export the version and convert it to another version just so that we can still keep playing on this world. Of course, if it's not possible, it's not possible. There's nothing we can really do about that, but for now, it would be really nice if we could do something though. Let me make... So I'm gonna just guess there's like 8 furnaces, but I'll make... Oh, we can't just do that. So we have to press for each individual thing, which is annoying, but it is a war it is. We don't have that other feature that allows us to like instantly do something quickly. Right, let's have 8. I might have made a bit too much, but whatever. Yep, just one extra. Okay, that's fine. We could have just taken that too. Oh goodness, it takes forever to mine this. I'm gonna guess it takes a while to mine the crafting table as well, so let me create myself an axe. Yep, it does. I guess you can't use tools on these yet. But there's our furnaces done. For this, I'm gonna just have this one like this, so it's a bit more of a design. Let me take out these. <clears throat> so for now, it's actually kind of looking nice. We'll need to make stairs to, the, to get up eventually, but for now we won't do that. Oops, crap. Okay, good. It doesn't take that long to mine that too. All right, let's go make this. So it's seven here, seven over there. Just going to do that, move that over here. Take this, move that there. I'm gonna need a bit more coal too soon. Our torches as we keep building higher building over and over again. So we've got this one done. For now. We're gonna have some signs as well. Now until the they increase the distance that torches can brighten things, we're gonna be stuck with this. Alright, there we go. It's pretty nice. It's fairly good. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much we're going to do that. I'm going to need to excavate this part over here and we're going to need to actually, for our first thing, we'll put one coal in there, one coal in there, half that, place that in there, actually, just to make sure that I use all of the stuff wisely. So we're going to start making ourselves some iron armor. We're going to need to, in fact, craft ourselves a crafting room, which I'm going to dedicate this side for when anvils get released and other things get released that are in future updates will be used in this side. So I'm just going to have to build it on the same way, and then we're going to kind of have like this really linear structure going that way. The design idea is going to change so often that it's probably not going to look like what I'm envisioning right now, but that's fine, that's fine. Alright, keep getting this way. Hoping that we can make a big world, I can place post this map somewhere and then people can download it when it's like fully finished. Maybe it'll be like an entire year when this playthrough is over or something. If the playthrough, if the if the playthrough is successful, then I'll probably keep it going for like a very long time. Why can't I do that? Whatever. Because um, the first two videos have been doing quite well, actually, if you look at the views, it's a lot better than my Hexit 2 playthrough, which we're not going to be doing again, if you can, you can tell why. The views aren't great compared to my RL Craft playthrough and um, the, the current one we're doing right now. And then it's three this way. So two more this way. One, two, one, two, there we go. We're going to continue like this. And I think 
me playing in this harder version will kind of make me better at Minecraft as well, because I've always played casually, but with an actual goal to kill the Ender Dragon in a much earlier version where it was actually a lot more difficult to do, it's going to give me a lot more, like, idea of how to kill the Ender Dragon, and I'm going to get better at playing the game and actually finishing the game because I've never actually really killed the Ender Dragon before, except maybe with other players on servers, but that's about it. Right, oh. Crafting station will actually be circular, I'd rather have it like that. The furnace station is going to be like that because we could fit more, but we only need one crafting table. And we'll only need other one anvil, one enchanting table, but the enchanting table will probably be in a library because I think that would look more fancier. Right, so now we've done that, we'll have two on this side. And it'll go back to going smaller. So a bit like, so basically, practically, the design concept will be a bit like this. My pickaxe broke while I was doing this, by the way. Um, so I might have um, something like this here. I made four pickaxes, so let me just light this up here so I can see actual things. And then have one like that. It does like look a bit kind of ugly, but I don't care. I'm not one for designing places the best way, so... But it does look otherwise kind of okay. We'll probably put the crafting table on this side when it gets to like one thing left. So we have this here. I'm going to place it there. That there and the crafting table go on that side. Okay, good, good. It's starting to look nice. It's fleshing out. We don't need to break that. And hopefully while I'm building this giant linear building, it's going to showcase and uncover some diamonds for us eventually. Over time as we take more and more stone from this world. Let me just take this back and place it on that side over there. There we go. Um, it's there. So let me go grab this, place it there. Ah yes, I need to do that. But it works eventually. we need to do is place a torch on top. There we go. Time to decorate. And then it's just cobblestone. There we go. It's looking nice and spacious. We have a lot of space here. We can do a lot of things. I think I want to wait until stone bricks are released so that I can update the look. So for now it's just going to look like this. It looks kind of like ugly and gross out right now, but that's fine. Let me just get 64 of these. I should have still have enough wood before I have to go back and mine some more. <coughs> I'm hoping that no creatures can spawn, but I feel like it's a bit dark in some parts. Which will in fact encourage monsters to spawn, but I've not seen any spawning just yet. So until they increase the torch spacing, I'm just going to put that there just to prevent anything that would like to spawn here. <laughs> oh, it broke again. I think this will be the last pickaxe I use before going up to build to get more wood. I also want to decorate the way up too, so it looks nice. But for now, our building is actually going quite well. I do want to have some buildings on the top of the world, but it gets too dark at night right now. So it's best to stay underground until we have the sufficient resources and survivability to go up. And then we can strike those monsters. It's best to prepare underground until you're ready to go up. <coughs> there we go. One side left here. I do want to get birch wood, but I don't think it's in this version just yet. Because I think there's only one biome in the Infinite Development version. We haven't generated much chunks as well, so that's good, which prevent which allows us as we gain more versions to uncover biomes slowly. Oh I hear something moving on gravel. Oh that's me. Never mind. 
The gravel is just unfortunately quite loud. Not gravel, dirt. Same thing almost. Alright, so I built this. We're going to keep this as our storeroom as well. Actually, let's just get this much. That should be enough. 64. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. So I'm not sure if we can have a double chest, but... It works. Actually, easier to do this. <laughs> oh! Good, good. I do know on, a, on one version you could actually, like, get more in a chest. But I can't remember which one it was. But we've completed our place, which is nice, you can see everything here. Completed two parts, the furnace station and the crafting station area. Two chests there. We're going to make a decorations block area too, around this place. And it'll just keep going that way and that way. But first off, we need to go upstairs to get some things, and I'm going to make a tree farm down here as well. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Have an amazing day.